When a person dies and departs for eternal rest, many people decide to bury their loved ones, each of us, at some point, thinks about what happens to the body of a deceased person, how long it is preserved, what happens to it over ten years, and what the physical and spiritual changes are. I will talk about these exciting questions in detail, and I will ask my listeners to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Death is an unchanging reality that everyone faces. Seeing a loved one off on their final journey is an important and significant rite that has many variations depending on cultural and religious traditions. The first thing to do is to prepare the body for burial, which includes washing it, dressing it in certain clothes, and, in some cultures, applying aromatic substances. Although, in the modern world, the preparation of the body for burial is handled by appropriate services. And this is the part of the farewell ritual that helps both the deceased person and the living accept this loss and express their respect. After all the necessary rites have been performed, it is customary to bury the body of the deceased. The usual tradition is burial in a coffin, which can be made of various materials, from wood to more durable, and long-lasting options with metal processing. Proper burial is sacred to many religions and is seen as a way to ensure the deceased's soul a good transition to the other world. But how long is the body preserved in the coffin? The preservation of the body in a coffin is a question influenced by many factors, burial conditions, the type of material used for the coffin, and climatic conditions at the burial site. In ideal conditions, when the body is placed in a high-quality coffin and buried deep in the ground, the body can be preserved for five to ten years. But after a few years, the decomposition processes become more noticeable. It is impossible to say exactly how long the body will be preserved, but general practice shows that in the first years after burial, decomposition is fastest. Usually, after a year or two, only parts of the soft tissues remain, while the skin and other organs begin to decompose. But what then happens to the body in the coffin after 10 years? Over the next 10 years, the body continues to go through the stages of decomposition. Every year, various processes occur with the body. During the first year after death, decomposition is most active. Soft tissues begin to break down under the influence of microorganisms in the body. The process of autolysis begins when certain enzymes and bacteria destroy cells. This leads to the formation of putrefactive gases, which can cause a characteristic odor. By the end of the second year, most of the soft tissues have already decomposed. The body loses most of its mass and begins the drying process. Many internal organs become unrecognizable and are reduced to what putrefactive bacteria continue to work on, leaving a saturated space in the coffin. In the third year, the decomposition processes continue to deepen. About 90% of the body may already be destroyed. Small remnants of skin remain, possibly clothing if it has not completely decomposed. By this time, teeth remain, and many bones are already beginning to decay under the influence of the soil. In the fourth and fifth years, the process of complete degradation continues. And by the end of the fifth year, the transformation into dust occurs much faster. If the coffin is not particularly airtight and is exposed to the external environment, decomposition occurs faster. At this stage, the arms and legs become fragile, and many joints begin to collapse. By the sixth or seventh year, very little remains of the body. If the coffin is made of high-quality materials, this slows down the decomposition process, so bones and teeth will be the only remains. By this time, putrefactive bacteria will destroy the remaining structures, and over time, some strong structures begin to disappear. In the eighth and ninth years, the remains of muscles and skin gradually disappear, so the body is no longer preserved. Teeth and some bones may still remain, but they become brittle. Passing through these years, 
the body turns into a skeleton, which remains in the coffin. By the tenth year, there is no trace of a full body in the coffin. During this time it has completely decomposed to the state of bones and hair. Hair remains as it is less susceptible to decomposition compared to other components of the organism. Bones can be preserved for much longer, depending on exposure to external factors, because they are able to remain whole or be destroyed by the environment. The decomposition process is a natural part of the life cycle. It is noteworthy that the final decomposition occurs within 10 to 15 years. Only the skeleton, bones, teeth and hair remain in the coffin. Under the influence of constant humidity and temperature changes, bones can become brittle and even be in different positions. The process of body decomposition is both a physical and spiritual phenomenon, which shows the natural cyclical nature of life and death. One of the most intriguing questions is, what will happen if you open the coffin 10 years after burial? The answer to this question can be both scientific and metaphysical, as it covers not only the physics of decomposition, but also deep philosophical reflections on life, death and the afterlife. But a counter question arises, why open the coffin without good reason? unless one of the reasons is the necessary exhumation of the remains. If we talk about what can be seen specifically, then after 10 years only the skeleton will remain from the body. During decomposition, tissues decompose under the influence of bacteria and fungi, and only the calcified skeleton remains. It should be taken into account that in some cases, under certain conditions, such as the special environment, in which the deceased is buried, for example. Special packaging, or the use of preservatives, the body may be preserved in a better condition. But is it possible that the deceased will not decay in the coffin? In different cultures, there are legends about the incorruptible bodies of saints or important figures. These bodies retain their integrity even after a decade, sometimes even centuries, in the Catholic tradition, for example, it is not uncommon for the bodies of canonized saints to remain incorrupt. This is perceived as a sign of their holiness. It is difficult to scientifically substantiate such phenomena, and most often researchers explain this by unique burial conditions or climatic factors. Although cases where the body remains incorrupt raise many questions, Science cannot give a complete explanation for such phenomena. One of the recent examples is mummification, which is able to preserve the body for a long time. But this is rather the exception than the rule. In most cases after 10 years, the remains become part of the ecosystem, transforming into new forms of life. A scientific explanation can give an idea of the physical state of the body, but this is only one side of the coin. The esoteric and religious perspective opens up deeper reflections on life, death, and the connection between them. And only each of us is given the right to comprehend this process in terms of our own lives.